You know, I grew up in an America watching and listening to one of the most real Americans that I can remember. And it stays with me yet today. He had many writings that were sometimes hardly known about. And they were writings on America and what America is. Here is uh, a famous presentation that was done in 1969 by Red Skelton. Now, I do this in honor of America and in honor of how much Red Skelton loved America. Here is his version of the Pledge of Allegiance. You know, Red Skelton tells the story of his teacher, Mr. Laswell, who explained the meaning of the Pledge of Allegiance word by word to the class. I, me, an individual, a committee of one, pledge, dedicate all of my worldly goods to give without self-pity. Allegiance, my love and my devotion, to the flag, our standard, old glory, a symbol of freedom. Wherever she waves, there's respect, because your loyalty has given her a dignity that shouts freedom is everybody's job. Of the united, that means that we have all come together. States, individual communities that have united into 48 great states, 48 individual communities with pride and dignity and purpose, all divided with imaginary boundaries, yet united to a common purpose that is love for country. And to the Republic, Republic, a state in which sovereign power is invested in representatives chosen by the people to govern. And the government is the people, and it's from the people to the leaders, not from the leaders to the people, for which it stands. One nation, one nation meaning so blessed by God, indivisible incapable of being divided, with liberty, which is freedom, the right of power to live one's own life without threats of fear or some sort of retaliation, and justice, the principle of quality of dealing fairly with others, for all, which means, boys and girls, that it is as much your country as it is mine. And now, boys and girls, let me hear you recite the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Now, since I was a small boy, two states have been added to our country and two words have been added to the Pledge of Allegiance, under God. Wouldn't it be a pity if someone said that that is a prayer and that would be eliminated from our schools too? God bless America. Thank you, Red Skelton, for all those memories and for your true patriotic spirit.